Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Turok, Bobby, and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. In last week's episode, I showed you the installation of my sound deadening sheets. And in this week's episode, I am going to talk to you about my insulation in the van. For my insulation, I used Armacell Armaflex. It is very easy to work with because it has a self-adhesive side and it works as insulation and a vapor barrier in one. Armaflex comes in a variety of sizes. For the flooring I used 32 mm thick, for the walls and the ceiling I used 19 mm thick, and I used 6 mm thick for seams. Armaflex comes in three varieties. You have the AF variety which has an antibacterial barrier, the XG variety and the ACE variety. I chose the XG variety and for the 6 mm I chose the ACE variety. I got my Armaflex from Amazon and I will put the link down in the description. You can see here I put slats on the floor in preparation of the insulation. I used a strong adhesive to attach them to the floor. They act as a support for the subfloor that is coming over this insulation. The good thing to know is that I was not going to make any holes in the floor in the future. If you are planning on doing holes in the floor for water tank or a diesel heater, you should take care of that before you install this insulation and the subfloor. As you can see, I am almost finished with insulating in between the slats and then I will be taking a tape and covering all the slats so that no air or warmth or cold can get between it and everything is perfectly insulated. Here you can see the finished result, ready to put the subfloor in. I chose to reuse the floor that came with the van and here you can see me attempt to put it back in. <laughs> I was very lucky in that my van came with a good floor that I could reuse and also walls that I could reuse so I did. After the floor was secure, I started on insulation. This material is easy to cut with a knife or scissors and installing it is also very easy. Here you see me trimming the corners. What you do is make sure you have a little bit to peel off, put it on there and then peel the white off from the back. This is also very convenient in corners that are harder to reach. Make sure you trim it to size, put it in there and then peel the white from the back and then it will stay in place. I continued this process until every inch was covered in the material. Here you can see what it looks like when most of it is covered. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. In the next video, I will be showing you the installment of the walls and starting on the bed frame. See you in the next video. Goodbye.